Hey everyone, back with another map overview video. Like I said last time, this is going to be CP Gravel Pit. Um, I guess it should theoretically be called Attack, Defend, Gravel Pit, but uh, that's just semantics. Um, this is going to be a pretty long and detailed video um, because even though this map is older than dirt, um, it's still very complex, and even though it's sort of centered around the screw A, defend B metagame, uh, there is a lot that you need to know, um, and there are a lot of very specific um, place names that you absolutely have to get down, uh, because this is a map with an infinite amount of uh, entrances and connectors to pretty much every area in the map. Um, so you really, really, really need to know your shit for this, um, and so... Hopefully I can introduce you guys to um, most of the major terms. Now, uh, from Blue's spawn, you have two ways of getting to the two different points, or I guess two ways of uh, attacking. We'll start with A because not a whole lot of people um, seem to defend A. So you come out of A, and dumb men like to set secondary and meta decoy traps around this door. Um, but people have sort of gotten into using the dead ringer or dead ringer spy to to trip the traps to see if because you know usually demo men will wait here watch their trap and then go through this little tunnel tunnel which i'll get to in a second to go over to b where the rest of their team is um but here you have a now you either go left or right those people will go left up here uh up this ramp um, and then on to the point. Uh, there's really not a whole lot that you need to know um, because most of the strategy revolves around defending B, so uh, it's just about this entire point is just A. Uh, and you know, usually depending on what the, uh, what the cap multiplier is, you can sort of tell who's on A. Um, sometimes you'll have uh, maybe a pain train demo man or a couple of pain train soldiers to sort of fake out more people there than there actually are um, if you're gonna suicide people into B so uh, now from A you have uh, a couple ways to get to B you have the uh, a B connector uh, which is this tunnel right here leads out right in front of uh, hut right here on B uh, and it also joins up with uh, short right here. Um, this is called short because it's the short entrance into B. Uh, this is the long entrance over here because it you know, takes a fucking long time to get from spawn over here, but uh, you have a much wider area to work with. Um, now, um, the other way to get to, to B uh, is to take the AC connector and then the CB connector. So here's the AC connector. Uh, it branches off here. I'll get into this a little bit later when we're talking about um, pushes. But uh, here you have the AC connector. Uh, and then you have the BC connector right here. This is um, one of the two BC connectors. Uh, the uh, forward and back BC connectors. Um, now, this one will take you, both of them lead out here. Uh, one of them leads directly onto uh, ramp, and the other one will lead you right in front of hut um, and towards the front part of B. Uh, now, uh, you have rock um, over here. Sometimes uh, snipers, if you're running a blue sniper, you can... Uh, push them out as you push in with your uber and have them sort of wait behind here for the red uber to fade and then go in for some picks. Now, again, uh, this B point is very, very, very large, uh, but there are a few, there are only a few main areas. Um, like I said, you have rock, and then you have long and short, and then you have hut. And then you have Roof. Uh, roof is usually held by the roaming soldier and or the pocket, um, depending on how aggressive you want to deny jumpers. Um, then you have uh, the point itself. There's two entrances, one in the front, one in the back. Um, neither of these allows a direct sight line in. Um, 
because you have to go up a little bit in order to be able to spam stickies in. Um, and then you have uh, the back of the point here. Now this uh, is usually where the team will set up, where the defending team will set up. Um, this area right here, where this little rust stain is, is uh, called the Enigma Shadow. Um, Enigma from complexity um, and classic mix-up uh, sort of um, made this spot famous for his uh, as a spot for a sentry gun um, because you can't there's no sight line directly from here so you can't charge up a, a sniper shot and then immediately burst in um, with uh, you know a couple of stickies or rockets uh, and it prevents direct sight lines from here uh, and uh, sorry it prevents direct sight lines from both the hut area and over here um, and it's uh, as opposed to putting a sentry on here on the B ramp um, because this is vulnerable to spam from here so um, this is sort of the standardized spot for a sentry gun if you're going to run an engineer um, that's the Enigma Shadow. Now, here you have ramp, which leads up to one of the two BC connectors. Um, if you're holding back, really, uh, when you're holding C is the only time that you're going to need to differentiate between the two. Um, and you can either say, uh, I guess there isn't really a term for them. I called it forward and back BC connectors, but you can call it closed and open. Um, because you know the entrance here is you know closed or covered by this one, and this one just leads directly out into the point. Uh, so now we get to C, um, and uh, most of this stuff is going to be relevant um, if you're A, or if sorry, if you're blue and you're pushing in. So I'll talk as if I'm talking from their perspective. Uh, this is the main. BC connector, uh, which leads right into, you know, as a direct view of C, you can, uh, I believe you can make the rocket jump right off of this wall up there, or sticky jump. Um, uh, so that's the main BC connector, and then there's the, or the right BC connector, and then there's the left one. So this branches off into two parts, the upper and the lower. Uh, the lower one isn't used a whole lot except by spies. Um, the upper one is sometimes used because uh, this allows you to jump up very quickly on the point and get position uh, because most times people will have a sentry gun on this little ramp right here, um, which is back right ramp if you're pushing in. Uh, so it allows you to sort of set up over here um, and then be able to you know coordinate some spam over here to take that sentry gun down. Uh, however, sometimes a, a heavy medic will be standing over here um, because it's uh, so it's such a far ways away from any entrance besides this one, uh, and they can sort of hide back here and avoid some uh, you know avoid crit stickies if you're deciding to crit into last. Um, so yeah, there's the uh, lower. BC connector and then the upper BC connector. Um, this leads out onto uh, back left, um, and then you have the tower itself. Uh, now, when you're pushing up here, you usually want to say which side uh, you're on. Like if you see scouts uh, holding left tower um, or right tower, um, usually there will be a heavy. Um, if the heavy is not with the medic over here, the heavy will be up here on tower uh, hut. On tower hut, sorry, um, this little back area right here. It's available by uh, jumping onto this little sheet metal right here, and then strafe or uh, yeah, strafe jumping onto this little roof right there. Um, I believe that's pretty much it. Um, there are some gimmicky strategies on A that you know involve teleporters and snipers going for medic picks um, but that's all pretty advanced stuff that you know you will have to work out with you know with your team um, unless the metagame shifts dramatically towards teams putting up a 
better defense of A, then I don't really see the need to go over any specific names and um, other people really haven't thought up any yet. So uh, yeah, it's the metagame really focuses around B and C, but that's a, a larger question of strategy and uh, hopefully I will be able to get into that uh, in a later video series, but for now, uh, hopefully this is informative. I'm sorry it was a little bit long, but like I said, this is a very complex map, even though it's been a long, been around for a very long time. So um, I believe I hit all the important points, um, and yeah, I think that's about it. I will sign off for now, um, but I'll see you guys next time. I believe I will be doing Warm Front. Um, sadly, that's in the rotation, much to the dismay of many people who felt it was too difficult to push, but apparently people hated stand-in more than that. Uh, shout out to TLR. But anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch all of you later. Peace out.